Meteorologist Mike Nelson joining us now. And Mike, how's the weekend looking for Coloradans who plan to go out hiking, biking, or I guess pulling planes? Plane pulling. <laughs> it looks pretty good, even though right now it looks pretty green with the radar scattering showers and storms all over the place. But drier air is going to come in in time for most of the weekend. Now to the west, there has been a flash flood warning on the Pine Gulch burn scar. It was just lifted about five minutes ago. A flash flood watch remains in effect on the Grizzly Creek burn scar. And farther to the east, there's a pretty good line of showers and thunderstorms that have developed east of Denver. We're not seeing very much in the metro area right now, but they're getting a pretty good one up here in Fort Morgan. And of course, we have one of our exclusive Viero cameras right there in Fort Morgan. See the rain coming down hard right at the moment in the city of Fort Morgan. So scattered thunderstorms for this evening and temperatures will cool to 65 by 11 p.m. Today in Denver, our high temperature was 84 starting at 63 and our skies are not quite as wet looking as they are up in Fort Morgan. 97 is the record, 80 is the average high this time of year. Right now, it's 76 at the airport and 79 at our studios. Falling pressure, southeast winds at 20 miles per hour, good air quality. Have a little weather front that's close by and a little bit of monsoon moisture that's in here. That's the focus of the thunderstorm activity for tonight, but it's moving east. And so by the time we get to 2 a.m. on Saturday, we'll mostly be off to the east of us. And by morning, lingering showers over Kansas and Nebraska, but mostly clear in Colorado, aside from perhaps a little bit of patchy fog in the South Platte Valley. Upper 50s to around 60 on the plains, 37 at Leadville, but otherwise mostly 40s up into the mountains by early morning. Winter Park at 45, 43 at Keystone. We'll be at 58 at the airport, 62 at Broomfield by morning. And a nice morning aside from a little bit of that patchy fog in the South Platte Valley, mostly clear otherwise. By midday, clouds will be building in the mountains. It'll be sunny and warm, Denver and across the plains. By late in the day, there'll be a couple of storms, mainly over the higher elevations on the plains, warm and dry. Temperatures tomorrow back up to 90 here in Denver and Fort Collins, 91 at Greeley. 60s and 70s expected if you're going up into the mountains. 90 out west at Grand Junction, 93 at Ray and Burlington. So here's the map late tomorrow. Hot and dry for the most part with just a few isolated storms. This front is not too far away. It might dip in slightly on Sunday to make it a degree or two cooler. Just isolated storms though. Monday, it's kind of drifting off to the north and east of us. More isolated storms and by Tuesday, hotter and drier weather comes in and we'll reach the low to mid 90s early next week. Tomorrow's 90. And if you're going to the Bronco game tomorrow night, it looks great. We're going to have partly cloudy skies, warm temperatures, 85 at 6 p.m., 73 by the time the game is over. On Sunday, 88 with a few storms. Monday's low 90s, Tuesday low 90s, Wednesday around 90, and then next Thursday and Friday, a little bit better chance of showers and thunderstorms, not quite as warm with mid to upper 80s. Stay with us. We'll be right back.